And what I found out uh, was that I actually come from a civilization that never civilized. I came from a so-called civilization that is identical to abject primitivity. I came from a so-called civilization uh, that's what you would expect from people who were raised by wolves. It's like your culture was dropped on its head as a baby. You know, the brain of this so-called civilization has a deformed amygdala. The prefrontal cortex of the Western mind is missing. It's like a psychopath. Because the West is just as primitive, just as barbaric, just as shallow, just as selfish, petty, deceitful, and immature as they were 3,000 years ago. You know, you literally had to suppress everyone else, oppress everyone else, burn, loot, and destroy everything that everyone else had, everything that they built, that everyone else built, everything that they accomplished, just so you could try to make your so-called civilization look developed, only by de-developing everyone else. You had to tie their hands and feet just to pretend that you could beat them in a race. You know what's sad, bro? I say the same thing Shahid Bolson be saying itself. I'm not some some white Malcolm X wannabe dude. You know what I'm saying? I mean, y'all gonna listen to him before y'all listen to me. But it's okay. Here's the thing. I'm gonna assume Cranberry Sprite is a decent white person. But here's the problem with decent white people. Y'all are dangerous to us. What? See, y'all want us to let down our guard but you don't suffer if you let down your guard y'all want us to not be vigilant in the way we move through this society you in the name of peace in the name of goodness we need to forgive and forget how can we forgive and forget when, they, when we constantly under attack do you know that some like 95 98 percent of black americans are from here and we don't know because the european has come in here taking away our history, you know, taking away all of our glory, reattributed everything that is, that was ours to other people. And now you got these black faces all over the Mayan temples and everything, but you got these Mexican looking people sitting there talking about their Mayans. And if I say that they're not the real Mayans, they get mad at me because they have been given a history that's not theirs by a colonizer. They have been given a history that is not theirs by people that's so intent on taking everything from black people and they don't care who they reassign it to. So now these Mexicans and everything have become emotionally tied to ancient civilizations that were not even their civilizations. The Aztec, the Mayans, the Incas, none of those were Mexicans. Because the fact of the matter is that there were nobody else on the planet but so-called black people for eons. And this is a historical fact that y'all have a problem with. See, we cannot let our guards down because every time we let our guards down, we get robbed more. We get we, 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 we get demeaned more. We get we get uh genocided more. You know what I'm saying? We can't let our guards down. So y'all, y'all, y'all meet people like Cranberry Sprite D. See, that to me, that's the devil in disguise. Y'all meet people like him. And y'all think, well, he's a good white guy. He's a good white guy. Yeah, but that white guy, to be his friend, you have to agree with his version of everything. The second you start talking about how you are not from Africa, how your people were never slaves, how your people were the actual Incas and the Mayans and all this stuff, you're going to have problems with people like Cranberry Sprite. Because his, his support of you is contingent on his superior status over you. But you cannot tell us to not be cautious in the way we move through this society around these people, man, because these people have a constant history, have a have a, a, a steady history of attacking us, of doing us wrong. I mean, not just civil authority. We, we know about the civil authority. We heard about the situation where the young brother was jaywalking. And somehow that ended up, you know, in the police shooting and deleting him, jaywalking. A city ordinance, it's not even a crime. How in the hell can you escalate jaywalking to murder? Or, or, or some 17 year old brother minding his own business, walking back to his father's apartment, eating Skittles and drinking a soda, and he got some creepy motherfucker following him around, talking about he looks suspicious. Mm -hmm. 
And even if the police tell a creepy dude, don't follow him, we're going to take care of it. He followed the young brother anyway into a dark alley, starts a fight with the young brother, the young brother piecing him up, so he pulls out a gat, he shoots and delete the young brother, and then beat it in trial. What? Claim self-defense. What the fuck? This is the reality of the America we live in, bro. You don't live in this America. You don't have stories of your people sitting in the car waiting for their daughter to come out of school, you read the damn book, and somehow a police walks over there, uh, confronts him and ends up shooting and killing him while he's still sitting there reading the book. Come on, man. Come on, man. We better not let our guards down around these people, bro. What's wrong with y'all? But the most important thing you got to understand what Shahid said is that they handicap everybody and they, they, they brag about winning. The name of that video clip that I played, right, is Don't Be Held Prisoner by Western History. It's telling you that all of their history is false. Everything they say is a lie. Like he said, he didn't know anything. He come from a people that never civilized. That, that, that lived like, that, like people that was raised by wolves. This is what he said about his people. So when you get dudes like Cranberry, y'all gonna stand, y'all can meet these white people that that these these cool white people and stuff. Look, I ain't I ain't impressed by that. I'll be quick to tell you not every white person is, is is hateful and trying to trying to delete you, but you gotta understand they don't understand either. That's the problem. I try to socialize casually with so-called good white people. It didn't turn out good at all. In fact, I probably had be I probably had better social interactions with racists. Because at least they know to stay in a certain lane. But the thing about the good white people is that they're going to say something offensive without even knowing they're being offensive. And if you try to correct them, they're going to get in their feelings. They're going to start feeling some type of way. And then that energy going to get all thrown off. So I'm telling y'all, don't even bother with these people, bro. Don't, don't even bother with them like that, man. You know what I'm saying? Because everything is going to be contingent on their version of everything. And as you heard Shahid Bolson say, their version of everything is false. Their version of everything is lies. This is why I don't mess with them like that, bro. This is why I've had several invitations to parties with white folks, several in invitations to, to gatherings with white folks. I deny it all. I deny, I, I, I respectfully decline. First of all, I'm not about to put myself as being like the only black person in no private event with these devils. I don't trust them like that. Now, I'm a little too old for them to want to harvest my organs or anything like that, but I still don't trust them like that. I don't know what, I, I don't trust them. I'm not going to put myself in that situation. If you listen to the first video uh, uh, about the past experience and changing, you know, changing our behavior, if you listen to that video, you understand why. I, I just don't trust them. I know how they are. See, the problem is y'all y'all can't comprehend somebody hating you to the point where they want to just hurt you and you ain't done them. Then you can't you can't see that. You can't imagine that. You can't visualize that. You don't need to. Trust me, that's how they are. And that's all you need to understand. You don't need to understand it. You don't need to be able to, to, to see it in your mind. You don't need to do none of that. You just need to trust your brother. That's how they are. You put yourself in a, in, in a compromised situation with them people, it might be your last day on the earth. These people will, will hurt you, bro. You know what I'm saying? And even the so-called good ones, you're gonna, you're gonna clash with them because they're gonna say something that's just not right. I mean, you can't win on either side, bro. So why bother with these people? Why bother with them? There is no happy thing on either side. No, 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 no happy. <laughs> there is nothing there. It's just nothing there, bro. I, I don't know how to say it. Why bother with him, man? So you heard Shahid Bosun, you know what I'm saying? He's not lying. They take everything. They steal everything. They've never developed as a culture. They never developed as a civilization. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they steal everything. They bully everybody. They hold everybody back. They, they try to handicap everybody and claim that they're the best. They steal everything from everybody else. And they say, hey, look what we've done when they've done nothing. This is, this is who the white man is, bro. And the more you become aware of that, the, the harder it is for you to deal with people like Cranberry Sprite. This is why I don't have no white friends. Nah, man, my brothers, I'm going to teach y'all to move vigilantly, bro. Y'all going to move in a way that protect yourselves. 
you're gonna move in a way that watches out for danger and you're gonna understand the animals that you are in this jungle with. You're gonna understand their natures. You know what I'm saying? And you got two main animals in this jungle that you have to really, really, really be cautious when, when dealing with them. That's the white man and the black woman. And I don't care how mad y'all get about it. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm out here, Brother Kush, AKA the Black Alphas.